Hi folks, and this is Jason, and hope you are okay today. It's good to be with you. And we're looking at guiding principles for evangelism. And I uh, hope that this is a blessing to you. Uh, let's come before the Lord. Lord, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for your grace, and we thank you for your love, and we thank you for your blessings, and we give you the praise and we give you the glory today and father as we look at your word we just pray that you bless us now in jesus name amen okay first of all um <clears throat> the guiding principle in evangelism we turn to joshua chapter 1 verse 3 Joshua chapter 1 verse 3 every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon that I have given unto you as I said unto Moses so God will give us victory as we go forward for him as we serve him he'll bless us and encourage us in the work that he has called us to do secondly God has promised to be with us Joshua chapter 1 verse 5 there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life as I was with Moses so I will be with you, with thee, and I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. God has commanded us to be bold. Joshua chapter 1 verse 7 and 8. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou to do according to all the law which Moses thy servant commandeth thee. Turn not from to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt be good success. So, three things there. Number one, God has given us the victory. Number two, God has promised to be with us. And number three, God desires his people to be bold and not timid. Now how do we do evangelism? Well, if we turn to Joshua chapter 6. And look at verse 20. Um, so the people shouted then to the priest, blew with the trumpet. The sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat so that the people went up in the city every man straight before him and they took the city so there was prayer there was a desire to praise God worship God have faith in God did you they, they, when, when they're playing the horns they're concentrating on God when they heard the sound of the trumpet, the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down. They were thinking of God. They were they were bringing glory to God, trusting God. You turn to Joshua 5, verse 2. <coughs> they were not taking down the wall of Jericho with an army. They took it down with praise and belief in God. 5, verse 2 says, at that time the Lord said unto Joshua, Make these sharp knives and circumcise again the children of Israel the second time. So the people of Israel were to circumcise themselves. That means to dedicate themselves to God. <coughs> and if you turn to Joshua chapter 2 verse 9, we read, And she said unto them, I know that the Lord hath given you the land and, and that your terror and that your terror is fallen upon us that all the inhabitants of the land fear because of you she knew Rahab knew that God had given she knew that God had given her uh, uh, that God's people victory she knew that Rahab knew that. 
She knew it because she knew and believed in the power of God. We need to believe in the power of God. We need to believe in the Holy Spirit that he will do his work. Joshua chapter 7 verse 1 But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing for Achan the son of Carmi, the son of Zabani, the son of Zerah and of the tribe of Judah took the accursed thing and the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. The people of Israel uh, the, the people of Israel had sinned. Achan had, had taken things that were not his and God was to judge. And so, but the children of Israel committed a trespass regarding the accursed things for Achan took of the accursed things. So God was angry at the people of God and was judging them now because they were sinning and God was not happy. And if we're going to be successful in evangelism, then we have to avoid sin in our life. Joshua chapter 9, verse 6. And they went to Joshua unto the camp of Gilgag and said unto him and to the men of Israel, We be come from a far country, now therefore make ye a league with us. And so they said, We have come from a far country now, therefore make a covenant with us. These people came to Joshua and made, and made a pact with them. But these people were false, these people were not true, but yet they got involved in a false pact. The people of God, you see, didn't pray and didn't ask God's guidance and the difficult situation, a false alliance. If we read verse 6, And the men of Israel said unto the Hivites, Preadventure ye dwell among us, how shall we make a league with you? And they said unto Joshua, We are thy servants. And Joshua said unto them, Who are you and from whence you come? And they said unto him, From a very far country, thy servants have come because of the name of the Lord thy God, for we have heard the fame from him and all that he did in Egypt, and all that he did to the two kings, etc. Wherefore our elders and all the inhabitants of our country spoke to us, saying, Take victuals with you for your journey, and go to meet them, and say unto them, We are your servants. And Joshua, he said, verse 15, made peace with them. Joshua made peace with these enemies, but he didn't pray to God for guidance. And it was a disastrous an alliance. Now we need to realize that if we're involved in evangelism, it's a great blessing. Joshua 21 Joshua uh, 21, 45. Joshua 21, 45. Therefore there failed not aught to any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass. God blessed the house of Israel. He, he blessed them. His promises came true. Joshua 18, John of Israel, how long are you slack to go and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers had given you? Joshua is challenging the people of God to continue to maintain the blessings that they got. They they got the land, but they still had to keep fighting to protect it and to advance. And so we've got to protect the blessings of God. If God converts people, we've got to encourage these converts. We've got to receive the blessing. 18 verse 3, And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, How long are you slack to possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers has given you? God has given us a blessing. You know, we think of the Samaritan woman in chapter 4, where she listens to the Lord and she gets converted, she goes off, she tells people and then at the end of the chapter the Lord says look into the field, the, the fields are white for harvest but the laborers are few. There is blessing to be had if the Lord and evangelize. Joshua said to the children of Israel be strong 
and and advance and that's what we need to do in evangelism be strong and advance will you have one ambition will you believe we have victory and step out and be bold and have faith and go and serve the Lord in proclaiming the gospel watch out rely on the Holy Spirit avoid sin in your life and go for guidance ask God to guide you guard the blessing receive the blessing these are some of the principles of evangelism from the book of Joshua may God bless you and may what has been said be an encouragement to you in your evangelism and we thank you for your love and your grace we give you the praise and the glory and we give you the honor and we thank you for this day I pray that you will bless these words Lord to your glory in Jesus name Amen I hope that's been a blessing to you and God bless you